Um, I, uh, I know she probably wouldn't be too happy about me sharing this, but, uh, you know, considering the circumstances. Back when I first saw Ferris Channel, I thought her topics were... Amazing. Inspiring. She called them fun, but I never actually thought they were really fun. Here's another fun topic. Domestic violence and the gender wage gap. You're a mother of two. You gotta go to work. And your significant other says, sure babe, don't worry about it. I'll pick up the kids from school today. You go to work. And then he doesn't show up. You've missed too many days of work nursing the black eye he gave you so your boss fires you. It wasn't just pop culture crap. This is just one way abusers control their victims through their finances by turning them into an unreliable employee. Ergo, an increase in gender wage gap. She always saw the bigger social context. Between 25 and 50% of domestic violence survivors report job loss as a result of the abuse. Fun. There is a correlation between domestic violence and the gender wage gap. There is. Yeah, those statistics were correct. I mean, she did her research for sure, but... Most Americans aren't even gonna ask the question, let alone try to think of a solution. But on my channel, now is the time. Now's the time. I love that. I mostly just thought she'd be a good subject for the video club to cover. And I'd actually like to hear from some of my libertarian friends on this one. Maybe you could prove to me that you're something more than just a Republican who likes to smoke pot. Are you getting a cognitive dissonance headache yet? Peer-reviewed scientific studies show both Fox News and MSNBC created brain lesions in laboratory animals. Well, I don't always agree with her, but overall, she's amazing. You know what to do, hit the response button below, or better yet, send a response video, and I will discuss it on my next show, when my next topic will be... Conservative feminism? That's an oxymoron, that's not even a thing. Yes, that is a thing, and I know it's gonna piss off a lot of people, but there's actually a lot about conservative feminism I really like, so chew on that in the meantime. She was obnoxious. She offends everyone. <laughs> That's what I like about her. Hey everyone, it's Farah here and I am back. Today, the relationship between domestic violence and the gender wage gap. Okay, cool. We are getting some responses. I like it when you get angry. I think you are sort of cute. Why are you always hiding part of your face? Wow, JT, my dude, thank you so much for your pithy response on my video on consequential women's issues. Anybody else? I think you were sort of pretty, but your face is kind of weird. <sighs> I get comments like this all of the time and it just pisses me off. Just skip ahead to someone who actually has a functioning brain. Uh, yeah, no, it seems that nobody really cares about my views on this topic. They just want to talk about the way I look. Sad, really. Seriously? Yeah, come here and take a look at this. I mean, I... <laughs> I think her sister, adopted sister Lydia, was sort of a mellowing agent. I think her sister Lydia was the only person that Farrah really trusted. Yeah, this one looks better. One would expect a direct correlation between gender wage gap and domestic violence towards women, but I would take issue with your data source. Okay, good. Now we are getting somewhere. Bo Sao Paulo and the Manchester study were published in the National Center for Biotechnology Information, so what else? And I must say, it is hard to take you seriously and not be distracted by the weird thing on your face. <sighs> What's up with that? Oh, well, that's what I would like to know, fangirl. Maybe you could 
freaking tell me! Wait, before you go off on another rant, we don't want this video to end up like the other one. None of you have any idea what the hell you're talking about. You're all just a bunch of spoon-fed sheep. <laughs> you think that uh, living in your mother's basement for long enough, you'd actually pick up a fucking book every now and again. You want my opinion, right? Yes, please. Okay, so I think you should find out more about who you are. She was offensive. Is. I, I mean, I hope she still is. I don't think the local authorities are doing enough, so I said to get the word out. Oh, I think I know where she is. I know everything about Farah. Does that sound weird? Hey, everyone. <clears throat> we'll be showing you some of the raw footage that we have in the next 24 hours or so. Um, please check that out and let us know if you have any information, any insight. The only clue we have is this strange WhatsApp video that she posted. I found out some information that I am not who I thought I was. I'm my worst nightmare. I need to process this. And apparently, my life could be in danger. I am currently out of the country and I will not be posting to this vlog for some time. I am. Sorry.